Some say Chinese is one of the most difficult languages in the world, and learning it is almost impossible. So learning Chinese, the most difficult thing. Very strong, very strong, very strong, very strong, very strong. So I'm sort of tone deaf. I can't really hear them. I think the cultural mindset is the biggest complication for the us. The grammar. It's just complicated. So much. Only because you're not learning it in the right way. Why not try Take Away Chinese, where you can take some Chinese away and experience progress day by day. Take away Chinese. We will promise you a difference. Welcome to Takeaway Chinese. I'm Yao Honglin with Tony Reed in the studio. Hi, Tony. New, new. What is going on? How are you? Very well. How are you? A little bit、uh, sleepy. I've been working out a lot lately. Oh yeah, I forgot to say you're the artsy and athletic Tony Reed. <laughs> athletic. You can leave that out. Be one of the、Come、key、on. words. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually fun to think about exercising because fun to think. Of, well, yeah. Right. There、yeah. are so many different ways, and you can imagine. Wow, I'm gonna sound old. In ancient times, people don't really exercise because they have、mm. a lot of labor work.、Yeah. So it's relatively a modern activity. Of relatively, of course, it's, it's complete vanity, pretty much. Yeah, you gotta, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be, you know, having leisure time and also taking care of yourself, your health, and your figure. You know, yeah, it's pretty much your、do. figure, how you look. It's <laughs>、yeah. that's why I say it's complete vanity. I mean, exercise we could do that by just walking around the block, walking up some stairs, but exercise is so that you, you know, you had that shape that you want, the S line, or some people say, or、Ooh. you know, big strong arms or whatever. So yeah, it's big strong arms sounds so good. <laughs> okay, I wanna I wanna ask you, what is your favorite way to exercise? If you can choose. Any kind of sports in the world. Right now, I really like weightlifting. Weightlifting. Because weightlifting is a way、Muscle、for beater, me to,、huh? yeah, bodybuilding. It's a way to get a certain kind of look that I'm going for. If I was to do other things, I wouldn't get, I wouldn't have, or I wouldn't be able to reach that、um, that image that I'm going for. So bodybuilding is is kind of where it's at. See, for me, it depends on the time of the year, <laughs> because during summertime, even when the gym is, you know, having jam packed, AC full on, it's still really hot, and I don't want to get sweaty, and it's just, it's not fun. Which is why people work out, right? To sweat. <laughs> well, there's one way to, you know, get sweaty without knowing you're sweaty. That is to have some water sports. You know,、oh, yeah. swim in the water. You will feel cool in summertime. You will exercise, and the water helps you build this really perfect curve in your body. Yeah, I guess there's that. Yeah, swapping fluids in a swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the problem is I don't really know how to swim. I'm I'm learning, but I'm not really good at it yet. But still, every time. Um, it's a really nice thing to do. Well, I would envy you in that situation because I have a decent amount of muscle mass, so I sink like a rock in the water. <laughs> so the more it depends, if you have more fat, it's actually a good thing because you float. I float. I have a lot of fat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So our smart listeners must already guess that today we're talking about water sports. 水上运动 water sports. It's something. I think cool to think about during summertime. So、mm. hopefully this is going to be a nice show. So for our dear listeners, if you're interested in Chinese culture and you want to get a grips with the Chinese language, then this is the show for you. Stick with us for 30 minutes, and you soon see the rewards. And for more fun Chinese learning, follow our Facebook page, CRI Learn Chinese, to watch many fun videos and live streams. But now let's provide you with some free Chinese for takeaway. 水上运动真是一个奇怪的词，哪里奇怪了？你看，游泳明明是在水里，潜水更是。在水下，只有
，龙舟是在水上的。他们为什么都叫水上运动？你太咬文嚼字了。水上运动其实就是指所有和水有关的运动。好吧，那你要不要和我一起水上运动一下 ？Sounds like a question that I would ask because you know sometimes the Chinese language can be a little bit difficult to understand. <laughs> so yeah, I think asking this kind of question is、um, well for a Chinese language learner. I could see why they would want to ask.、This. It's also very reasonable. I have to say, in every kind of language, there would be something that is not perfectly logical、mm. because perhaps the language has evolved for so long time. There's something that are omitted along the way, something that are missed along the way, and you feel like, huh, this doesn't make sense, but It's a custom way to say it already. Right. So yeah, sometimes you have to remember how to say things in a certain way.、Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at the conversation and remember this "quote unquote" not very logical or reasonable way of wording. All right. For the first sentence, 水上运动真是一个奇怪的词 Uh, so this is、uh, water sports is actually a really strange word. <laughs> so shui sheng,、uh, shui is water. Water sheng, I would imagine this is like、um, up, up. So it's up or on or above or over. So that's the area that is okay. The preposition.、Huh? The preposition. So shui sheng is water over or up. Right.、Mm -hmm, yeah, basically. And then yun dong is like sports, right? Sports yun dong. Okay. So 水上运动 together literally would be water up exercise or sports. Okay. Uh huh. And then zhan shi. So here zhan shi is like uh general zhan is like true, right? True or really? Or really, zhan da is like really. Uh huh.、Right? So zhan shi would be really is. Okay. Truly is. 一个 is like one,、uh -huh. right? 奇怪的奇怪奇怪的 Yes, 奇怪 being the adjective strange and does suggest there is a noun after it,、mm. and the noun is 词词 And this is, I think, word, right? Word. So, actually, if you want to be more formal, you can also say 词汇 It's also word. Okay. But 词汇 Yes, 词 itself is word as well. So, 水上运动真是一个奇怪的词 Overwater sport is a strange word.、Mm, yes, it is. 哪里奇怪了哪里奇怪的 This is what's so weird,、mm. right? So nali is here actually means like where, where, right? And then、uh, chi guai is、uh, like we mentioned before is weird,、uh -huh. and then la. So my question here is,、um, could we also say shema chi guai? See, you can't. You have to say nali chi guai la. Remember、where? that famous joke about someone complimenting a lady, saying you're beautiful. The lady saying nali nali where where, and the person said your hair is beautiful. 哪里哪里 ，Your eyes are beautiful. 哪里哪里 ，Everything is beautiful. And stop asking me where. That's the <laughs> joke, the very I would say famous joke when you're learning Chinese. Okay. And uh, and here this 哪里 actually means where. So where so strange. So if you want to ask about the adjective, most occasions you would say 哪里 plus the adjective plus 了 So for example. If you're talking about a cake, someone saying this cake is really delicious. This cake is very delicious,、mm -hmm. and you want to question plus kind of like negate this statement. 不好吃 You can say 不好吃 for sure. It's not tasty. You can also say 哪里好吃了 So where、oh. tasty? It's not tasty at all. So it's a rhetorical question, but here it can also be a real question. So 哪里奇怪了 How so? Why are you saying it's strange? Where is the strange point? Yeah. So you have to use "nali." You、like、have to use "nali" instead of "what." Uh huh. "Nali" 奇怪了。你看，游泳明明是在水里，潜水更是在水下。
只有龙舟是在水上的。他们为什么都叫水上运动 ？So this is、uh, you see swimming is obviously in the water. Diving is underwater. Only dragon boats are really in the on the water.、Mm-hmm. So, why are they called on the water sports? <laughs> yeah. So Nikan is、uh, saying, "Look, look, right? Or you see, yeah, right? Uh, yo, 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 yong, yo, yong, yo, yong. So, um, this is、uh, swimming. It's、yeah. swimming or swim. Okay. Both okay. So verb or noun." And then Ming Ming.、Mm-hmm. So Ming Ming is、um, like something that's clear, right? It's clear or obvious. Okay. So because Ming means bright, doesn't Ming it? Ming means bright. So、okay. it's like it's obvious there. It's bright and you cannot miss it.、Mm, okay. Sure. Zai Shui Li. So Zai is this indicating location? Yes, it's indic. It's a preposition.、Mm. So it's saying 游泳 swimming is something you carried in the 水里 water. So 水 we know is water,、mm. and 里 is inside. Inside, right?、Uh-huh. All right, and then 潜、uh, 水潜水 This is this is、uh, underwater diving. Yes, 潜、okay. carries the meaning of go under. Okay. And 水 we know it's water. So if you're going underwater and you're swimming down there and not coming out for a certain amount of time, then you're diving.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, there is another word, 潜伏潜伏 is something you do when, for example, you're a spy and you're working for Party A, but you are working in Party B. Disguise yourself as a member of Party B so that you can work better for Party A, stealing information or something、oh, like that. Oh wow! Yeah, so you're like you're James Bond, huh? Yeah, a little bit like、envoy. that. It's you're undercover doing some strange secret jobs.、All、so 潜、right. 伏 you can understand it as、uh, hiding in something. So You can imagine 潜水 being hiding in the water and 潜、mm-hmm. 伏 being hiding in the opponent party or something. Okay. 潜 and 潜水 We have a 更水 right?、Uh-huh. So 更 here again is talking about more. More、right? or in this case actually even. So、um, it's more the case that for diving it's more fact that it's not on water. I think what this is what the sentence is trying to suggest. Okay. 水下 And then again we have zai again、mm-hmm. for location. Yep. And then shui xia. So shui is water. Xia means like down or under, right? Yes. So underwater. Underwater. Zhi you. So zhi you is、uh, only. Only. And then long zhou. Long zhou. Zhi you long zhou. And then long zhou is a、uh, dragon boat. Dragon、yeah. boat. Shen long is dragon. <laughs> yes. And then shi zai. Uh, shui shang.、Uh-huh. So is at, and then shui shang is waters、uh, on water again. On water, yeah. Right. And de is put at the end of the sentence to、Inside、serve some functional purpose. That is, un- it's something related to on water. Yes. And then taman.、Mm-hmm. That's、uh, they. Yep. Ah,、uh, 为什么 Why? 为什么 Why? 都叫 Uh huh. <laughs> so Jiao here is called called. Oh yeah, like Wo Jiao Tony. Yeah.、Right? So、And、Do is, what is all that, or both. All? all. Okay. So Do Jiao. So all called、mm-hmm. Shui Shang. And then Shui Shang again is、uh, something that's on the water. Uh huh. Yun Dong is sports. So why are they all called? On water sports.、Mm. This is a question. It's a monster sentence. Very long. <laughs> It's a bit long, but I think this is the question a lot of Chinese learners might have. That is sometimes when we give something a name or when we say a sentence in certain ways, if you try to decipher the sentence with perfect logic, it doesn't work.、Hmm. For example, the infamous Shai Taiyang. Shai Tai Yang. Shai means shine,、mm-hmm. and、uh, it's a verb. Tai Yang is the sun.、Hmm. So if you go out and get some sunlight, get some sun time, you are Shai Tai Yang in Chinese. You're、uh, shining the sun. Exactly. A lot of people would ask that question: Is the sun shining you? So the sun is the subject, and Shai is supposed to be the verb, and you are supposed to be the object. You are the sunlight receiver instead of the sunlight. Giver. So why are you saying 晒太阳 instead of saying 太阳晒我 
See, that something is not perfectly logic. It's something you have to remember. Just like 水上运动 on water sports is actually water related sports or water sports.、Mm-hmm. 水上运动 Okay. And let me tell you how to say to your fellow Chinese learners when they ask you, "This is not logical. What is happening to this sentence?" You can say to them, "You 太咬文嚼字了。你太咬文嚼字了。<laughs> so that means you're being too literal. I see. 嚼字 that sounds familiar, isn't it? That's dumpling.、Dish. It's not dumpling. <laughs> it's a different. <laughs> okay, so 咬文嚼字 itself is a A、uh, Chinese idiom,、mm. both yao and jiao carries the meaning of chew. So yao is bite, and jiao is chew. So Chinese people say if you want to say something is very chewy、mm-hmm. in Chinese, you would say 很有嚼劲儿 So it's chewy. 嚼劲儿 Uh, and wen wen zi would be words. It's a mosquito, isn't it? No different character, <laughs> similar pronunciation. Wen <laughs> zi is、uh, language or actually words. Okay. Okay. Wen zi, 语言文字语言 language. Wen zi is talking about the writing system. Wen zi. So 咬文嚼字 would be you're chewing on the words. Wow. It's like you're being too literal. You're understanding. The sentences on a very superficial level. You're so only so. You're 太咬文嚼字了 Yeah, that's you're perfect. Chewing too much of the words.、So、exactly. You're, you're eating. Yeah, you're you're taking in too much. Hmm. 水上运动其实就是指所有和水有关的运动 Ah,、uh, so this is your too literal, as we just talked about.、Uh-huh. And water sports actually refer to all water related. Activities.、Uh-huh. So,、um, as you mentioned earlier, ni tai yao wen jiao zi le. This is your too、uh, literal.、Uh, you're only reading the words instead of the sentence, the meaning. Shui shang yun dong. So water sports. Qi shi. Qi shi. This is actually. Actually. Jiao、yeah. shi.、Uh-huh. So jiao shi. Just is. Just.、Uh-huh. Right. 指所有 Yep, 指指 This is point. Point,、yeah? or here referred to. Hmm, and then 所有所有所有 is all all. And then 喝水 So 喝 here isn't that like and? It can mean and, but it can also mean with.、Okay. And here it means with. With and then shui is water. Uh huh. You guan. So you guan is related or something. Related.、Okay. So in English we say related to, but in Chinese we're saying、um, it's a little bit like has relationship with water. So we're using he. So he something you guan would be related to something. Okay. 和水有关 related to water or water related. You guan the. Uh huh. You guan the. 运动。运动 is. Uh huh. Water sports. 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 Uh huh. Uh, yeah, want to,、uh-huh. and then he, I, so, he, she. So this is like go with me or do something with yes. me. Yes.、Right? So he is again with, and 一起 is together. So he, I, he, she, with me together, 水上运动 Ah,、uh, and of course, water sports again. 一下水上运动一下、uh-huh. 一下 again. Isn't that、uh, a little bit? A little, yeah. Yeah, and here actually. People don't really say that because 水上运动 is much of a general word,、uh, referring to all the water-related sports. And apparently, this person is having fun with the language because he has just learned the word and he's trying to say, "Do you want to perhaps swim or boat rowing with me or something?" But he's using 水上运动 because they've just learned the new word. So、mm. I suggest you to do that as well. Once you learn a new word, try to put it in your everyday sentence to give it a good practice. It's the best way to understand and to master the word you just learned. How? Okay. So do you have any other questions? 
Could I say, uh, 你要和我一起呃游泳吗 Perfect. That is actually a sentence you would use. Oh, okay. That's great. Sounds good. All right. 水上运动真是一个奇怪的词。哪里奇怪了？你看，游泳明明是在水里，潜水更是在水下。只有龙九是在水上的，他们为什么都叫水上运动？你太咬文嚼字了。水上运动其实就是指所有和水有关的运动。那你要不要和我一起水上运动一下 ？Great. You're listening to Takeaway Chinese with myself, Neil Honglin, and Tony. We would love to hear from you. Send us your thoughts by email to learnchinese at cri dot com dot cn. Coming up next, let's learn about the pros and advantages about getting involved in water sports, especially in summertime. Don't go away, so you will take some Chinese away. Welcome back to Takeaway Chinese. I'm Neil Honglin, joined by Tony. So, Tony, do you swim? Uh, I do. It's a bit difficult for me, as I talked, you know, as I spoke about earlier. But、um, <laughs> I, I really do enjoy it. It's、um, it's a really to me, it's a really hardcore exercise. It is a hardcore exercise. Yeah, it's really tough. Uh huh. Yo yo, this is swimming, right? I have to say,、um, yes, it's swimming. I have to say, for people my age or older than me. It was not something that common for us to swim, especially for those of us who live in the northern part of the country or、mm. in any cities, in inland cities or city with no, let's say, rivers or it's not coastal city. Yeah. But nowadays, for kids nowadays in China, I think a lot of Primary schools, 小学生 primary schoolers, 小学生 would have the privilege to learn to swim. They won't see it as a privilege because they have to pass the test、mm. to graduate or something. But I、yeah. think it's a good achievement or、yeah. development. Absolutely. I mean, I think everybody should know how to swim a little bit because you never know when it could save your life. Number one, and it's um, I think it's a beautiful experience. It's a diff、uh, different from walking on land. Being in water is something that's completely. Out of our element, so being able to swim is a is a privilege. I think I was told that swimming is something that is a really good exercise. It's great if, especially if you want to lose some weight.、Mm. But I was too lazy to do that. So my counter argument would be: take a look at all the animals in water: dolphins, seals,、um, sharks. Okay. What about and like、uh, sea lions? Oh, sea lions! <laughs> I remember taking a cruise. They、know. are not thin. They are no, not they're slim. Not. They are round. <laughs> they are Very huge.、Round. And they have a lot of blubber. Right?、Oh, they can、yeah. be in places like Alaska, and they won't get cold because they have so much blubber. And that was my excuse. I know that's <laughs> not the case. I know swimming would not make me like that, but I was <laughs> lazy to learn to swim. And another thing. I think I recently experienced would be boating. Boating. We say 划船划船 Yes.、Yeah, so in English, you say row your boat, right?、Mm -hmm. So the row word in Chinese would be 划 That's the verb. Okay. And 船 is a boat. So literally, boating in Chinese is row boats. So 划船划船 It's another thing you do. It's another, yeah, water-related sports. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's、uh, you see them simulated a lot in the gym. They have these、oh, machines yeah, yeah, where yeah. you. Oh yeah, yeah, it's different. Have, yeah, I'm sure it's it's different, and you can change the level to where it could be really hard or really easy. But in a boat, it's、uh, it's different. There's a certain rhythm that you have to have, and there's a certain way that you have to. Move the oar around to、yeah. where it、uh, actually moves the boat.、Right? And there are different kinds of boats. And my favorite would be the duckling-looking ones、mm -hmm. in parks. In some parks, there's just tiny 
lake that you can、uh, row your boat. Yeah, yeah. And you have yeah. the pedals. There's a yeah, those pedals. <laughs> It's so、yeah. hard. I prefer the electric ones. <laughs> the electric one defeats the purpose of exercising. I don't want to exercise on a boat. I want to <laughs> enjoy being on the water. <laughs> oh yeah, that's too. But that's actually, working too hard. <laughs> but actually,、uh, water-related sports has a lot of benefits, especially in summer summertime.、Mm. For example,、um, it decreases your risk of chronic illnesses.、Hmm. It's good exercise, making your lungs and heart stronger. It's good cardio, and also it's a boon for people with arthritis. Oh yeah, you can move your your joints around a lot easier because you're kind of weightless. I think arth- in the water, arthritis feels like you're. I think there's a lot of is battling the weight in your body. So when you're in water, you're weightless, and so your joints get a break. So it's a beautiful thing. And also, when you're in the sun cooking, and the sun is burning your skin, you don't feel it either. So、oh, that's something、really? else. So when you get out of the water, you're like, wow, that was great. Then you go home and you're like, wow, I have a sunburn now. <laughs> Just to put in a little bit of Chinese element, I know this is not a word that you wish to use, but arthritis in Chinese would be 关节炎 <laughs> 关节炎炎 Yes,、yeah, so 关节 is your joints,、mm. 关节 and 炎 means inflame. Oh, so 关节炎 arthritis.、Mm. <laughs> And also, it is linked to improved mental health, which is surprising to me. Why is that? Because、uh, water relaxes your body completely, and any sports, especially swimming, can be great for your mind as well as your body. It's great for people suffering from stress and other kind of anxiety, and being water would basically free your mind out of the things that are trouble you. A little bit. More effective than on land sports. Oh yeah, I think it's、uh, again, it's relaxing. Yeah, there's that weightlessness that I think makes people feel at ease in the water and the temperature. And people who can't necessarily do exercises on land because of arthritis or、mm-hmm. what is it again? How do you say it again? 关节炎关节炎 Yeah. So you know, having this condition, yes, just just walking in water, moving around, is very helpful. This is just a really intense cardio exercise without damaging the body. Because I mean, when you run, which I used to love to do,、uh, you have sometimes you have problems with your feet, your ankles, your knees, and sometimes your hips, especially as you get older. But in the water, all of that's gone. So it's just you propelling yourself in the water, and it's just it's intense. But it's great for the heart and. But for me, th- it works different muscles. Like when you earlier, I mentioned I like to do bodybuilding,、mm-hmm. so I like to build and strengthen my larger muscles. But there's a bunch of small muscles. Oh yeah, you, underneath. It's hard to find them. <laughs> exactly, and those are exercised when you do, you know, water sports. Yeah. With all these reasons here, I feel like I am even more motivated to learn to swim, and perhaps then diving, and then like scuba diving, scuba diving as well.、Ah. So actually, there is the difference. Diving in Chinese is actually 跳水 so literally jump into the water.、Uh-huh. 跳水跳水 and scuba diving is more like 潜水 And I know there are different kinds. There's the one that you don't use an oxygen tank. You just snorkeling. That's where you stay above the surface and you yeah, just look at you, all the yourself. beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> yourself. But there's also the、uh, oxygen equipment needed one.、That's、that deep sea diving. That deep sea diving would allow you to play with the fish and just take go some good pictures further than anyone or anyone that's you know humanly possible to get down to that depth. And it, I think it's amazing when you watch the documentaries. Oh yeah. You just see a different world, but I just freak out about the pressure. And make sure you're certified when you actually try that, because not only should you learn to do that in practice, you should also have the theoretical knowledge,、yeah. so you would know what kind of equipment you should buy if you go to certain depth. But you can、so. get certified over the weekend, so you yeah, just, yeah, it's, you have it's to make sure that make you sure you have the knowledge. Do it for quite some time. Yes,、yeah, so you take someone else out there. <laughs> exactly. So. Something we are encouraging in this episode, <laughs> and that brings us to the end of today's takeaway Chinese. I'm Niu Honglin with Tony here in the studio. 
For more episodes of the show, you can visit our website at channelplus.cri.cn and go to the column podcast. There are also many podcast platforms where you can find us, and that's Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, SoundCloud, Spotify, and Stitcher. In case you'd like to listen to some previous shows and leave your thoughts, comments, and ratings. 感谢收听，我们下次再见。再见。